Okay, so I'm on a bit of a roll here. So I'm going to show you one more uh, tutorial uh, before I wrap it up for the day. Um, and this is the Time Manager, um, the Time Manager plugin, and uh, that was the the one that that um, animated the movement of animals based on a on a text file that had a date and timestamp. So if I just show you what which uh, what that folder or file looks like, it's the it's the data that that you sent me, and it was in a a I think this was it here. It was a sample GPS uh, Excel spreadsheet, and this is what it had. It had two columns for for date and time. Then it had the longitude and latitude, as well as some other information, the height, the GPS height, as well as uh, an accuracy field, and then the temperatures. And then this. These two last columns I actually included separately, so I don't think the original had these two columns. So those ones we can ignore. Okay, so for this um, this time uh, manager plugin to work, we actually need to uh, um, I need to put these two columns into into one field, uh, and I do that by extracting and then um, concatenating or, or joining the the data from the two text from the two text files. Or text columns, and I've done that in this folder, uh, in this file here. So I'm just going to open this up. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Excel spreadsheet so you can actually see the formulas. And here we go. So here's the original uh, two columns that came with the data that you sent me. And then what I've done is is I've converted the the date stamp into this order where it starts with the year month. And then the day, and then I've taken the um, I've taken the the time as well as this new um, date stamp and joined it into a, a new column for for a time stamp basically. Uh, this is a the formula for the time stamp, and then and then all this one is is the actual values. So it's not the formulas. All I did is I I copied this entire column and pasted it as values as opposed to to formulas. And that'll enable us to to add it and then use it with this with this plugin. So let's open up QGIS and uh, and get started and show you how how that works. So I'm just going to open up QGIS. Okay, and with that open, I'm going to add the the CSV file. Actually, before I do that, let me turn on the the uh, the plugin. So I just need to make sure that it's on. That I under I think it should be. Uh, viewable under this plugins drop down menu, and I don't see it here. So if I just go to manage and install plugins and go to my repositories and just type in time time manager, there it is. So time manager. So I just need to turn that one on. In your case, you may need to select it and install it. Okay, there we go. It's trusted, it's got plenty of stars, so it's quite a popular plugin. And close that. And that opens up this new, this new, um, this new docked window here, which we will use to to animate our new layer. So let's add that CSV layer. I'm going to browse to the correct folder. It's under tables, and it was timestamp test. That's the right one. Longitude and latitude. So everything looks good. I can add that, and it's WGS84 geographic coordinate system. Okay, so there it is. Uh, I think I'm also going to just change these colors quickly. Um, I don't like greens and reds when I'm going to be adding aerial photography as a background. So uh, blues, the light blue might be a good color. That always stands out. Okay, let's apply that. And then let's add a background image, uh, base layer. We can choose Bing Maps again. That's that's quite a a, a reasonable one. Okay, there we go. So now we can see the range of the leopard. Now we just want to animate it using the time uh, the time manager. So if we click on the settings button, we want to add a layer. We've only got one one. Well, we've got two layers, but the only one we can use is the timestamp test CSV. So we just need to select that one, and then now this is going to ask us for the column that has the timestamp. And we've got two, one with the formula and one with the timestamp. These these are essentially the same, but I'm just going to choose the timestamp. 
and same as start is fine and then we're going to interpolate it as point geometries only and is that it I think that is so we can say okay and this is the the format of the the date or timestamp that that will be um, acceptable and I think ours is this one here year month day hour minutes seconds fractions of seconds so it's either that one or this one so we can see that our format that we've chosen uh, is accepted here now let's say okay okay so there we go we've got one little point which is added and that is the first uh, point based on the date and timestamp now what we can do is we can maybe change this to three hours because those are the actual intervals for that particular uh, leopard and then if we click on play it's going to run through the the movement of that leopard okay and this uh, this little animation can be exported as a as a series of of slides which you can then um, add to a slideshow or, or use some video editing software to create your own animation so that's pretty much how it works pretty straightforward and uh, yeah it might be useful for you guys to to follow and analyze the movement of uh, of your um, your leopards okay so that's it for this video um, give us a shout if you have any questions cheers